Hey what's up guys this is Wasi from flamelinevisualeffects.com and welcome back to my another brand new after effects tutorial today we will create a amazing particle logo animation so let's see what we will create today This video is sponsored by ProductionCrate.com Whether it's music, graphics or visual effects, ProductionCrate has you covered. We've begun a revolution in the way half a million creators like you produce content, becoming the source of all your production-ready assets at an affordable price. Thousands of professionally built video assets, sound elements and tools are at your disposal helping you save time, perfect your projects, and earn the recognition you deserve. Sign up today and make it awesome! You can order this logo animation from link in the description box below, so please check this out. And can I get 500 likes for this tutorial? If yes, please hit the like button. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first create a new composition. Go to composition, new composition, and let's call it emitter. And I'm going with same 1920 1080p frame rate 25 and duration make it 8 seconds long, then click on OK. Okay, let's import our logo. You can also use text if you want. Okay, now select this logo and drag it into this timeline. Then right click on it and then choose pre compose and select leave all attributes and rename it to logo then click on ok ok now select this layer then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and then create a shape to something like this ok now go to beginning of this animation then open max properties and then create a keyframe on max path then go to around 3 seconds then press V for selection tool and double click on this max path and then move it to the right side of the logo something like this ok let's increase the feather a little bit perfect looks good to me ok now create another composition for this go to composition new composition and let's call it particles then click on ok ok now go to project window and select our emitter comp and drag it into this timeline then turn off visibility of this layer and also make this layer 3d by clicking here ok now right click new and click on solid and rename it to particles then click on ok ok now go to effect and preset window and search for particular then select this effect and apply onto this particles layer ok now change some settings go to emitter and particle per second set it 1 triple 0 triple 0 and emitter type set it layer and then velocity set it um, maybe 150 then go to layer emitter and then layer set it our emitter comp and then layer sampling set it particle bath time ok now go to particles and then life set it 1 and life random set it 100 and spear feather set it 0 size set it 1.7 and size random set it 100 
Then open opacity overlap and choose last preset. And then blend mode set it to screen. Okay, now go to physics and then gravity set it minus 100. Then open air and then air resistance set it 1. And then we index set it 100. Then open uh, turbulence field and then effect position set it 100. Okay, now go to rendering and then particles amount set it 200. Then open motion blur and then uh, motion blur set it on and then shutter angle set it 90. Perfect. Okay, now go to effect and preset window and search for glow. Then select this effect and apply onto this particle layer and glow threshold set it 87 percent again go to effect and preset window and search for sharpen then select this effect and apply onto this particle layer and sharpen set it 10 looks good to me okay now select this layer and press ctrl plus d to duplicate this layer then select this last layer and then go to emitter and then uh, velocity set it 200 then go to particles and life set it 4 and then uh, size set it 0 0.8 and then life random set it 50 also size random set it 50 then uh, go to physics and gravity set it uh, minus 200 then go to here then go to turbulence field and effect position set it 300 okay now go to rendering and then particle amount set it 100 okay now go to glow and glow threshold set it uh, maybe 50 percent and intensity set it uh, 0.6 or maybe 0.5 looks good to me okay now go to project window and select our logo comp and drag it into this timeline then go to effect and preset window and search for linear wipe Then select this effect and apply onto this logo comp layer and then whip angle set it to 270 degree then go to around 10 frames and then transition completion set it uh, 100% then set a keyframe on transition completion then go to around 3 seconds and then transition completion set it 0 and also increase the feather amount maybe 30 looks good to me okay let's run pp it wow it's look really awesome Okay, let's create our camera shake effect for this create a new adjustment layer. So right click new and click on adjustment layer. Then go to effect and preset window and search for transform. Then select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer. Then again go to effect and preset window and search for slider control. 
then select this effect and apply onto this adjustment layer then hold alt and click on the stopwatch of position then type expression here type wiggle first bracket 7 comma 50 and then bracket close then select this last value 50 and then select this pick whip tool and then print it to slider perfect now increase the slider amount and you can see a nice uh, camera shake effect looks good to me okay go to beginning of this animation and slider set it 15 and then set a keyframe on slider then go to around 4 seconds and then slider set it 0 then select this layer and then press U to open keyframes and then select this last keyframe and press F9 to make it easy ease. Okay, let's run PP with. Wow, it's look really nice. Okay, let's create our final composition for this go to composition new composition and let's call it a main and click on ok okay now go to project window and import our project files i downloaded these project files from productioncreate.com link in the description box below so please check this out okay now select this background and then drag it into this timeline then select our particle comp and drag it into this timeline looks good to me then select this optical flare and drag it into this timeline and change the blend mode to add something like this then select this smoke layer and drag it into this timeline and change the layer mode to add again select this lighting layer and drag it into this timeline and change the blend mode to add looks good to me Ok now go to beginning of this animation then select this particle layer and then press S to open scale then set a keyframe on scale then go to end of this animation and scale amount set it 110% for zoom in effect perfect ok now create a black solid layer so right click new and click on solid and rename it to flimber then click on ok then select this layer and go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and double click on it then double click on this max path and hold down alt and control and drag then max mode set it subtract make it little bit smaller now it's look better our particle animation is ready you can order this logo animation from link in the description box below so please check this out thank you so much for watching this tutorial have a great day